Hey guys, in this video we are going to be covering basic chemistry calculation. You know the one where they give you a mass of a substance and they want you to find the mass of the other? Well, let's get right to the lesson. I've broken this process down into five simple steps. Let's look at the question first. Calculate the mass of NaCl, sodium chloride produced, when 2 grams of sodium reacts with excess chlorine. So this is a typical question. So the first step in all chemistry calculations is we need a balanced chemical equation. This is very important. So first, let's write our chemical equation. So we have sodium reacts with excess chlorine. So let's write that down. Sodium Na is going to be a solid plus chlorine, Cl2, which is a gas. And the product is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is produced. So we write sodium chloride on the product side. And now we need to balance the equation. So for balancing, you just check the number of atoms on each side. We have one sodium atom on the left, one sodium atom on the right, so that's okay. But when we look at chlorine, we have two on the left and one on the right. So in order to balance this, we need to add two in front of NaCl so that we can balance the number of chlorine atoms. But now we have two sodium atoms as well. In order to balance this, all we have to do is add 2 in front of sodium. It's balance. Now we have our balanced chemical equation. Now this is important for the next step. So once we have our balanced chemical equation, step 2 is to find the mole ratio of the species involved. So how do you know what species involved? Let's go back to the question. So here we have, you always have two things. You will have one species with a given quantity for mass or volume or number of particles or something like that. They will give you the actual value, the quantity. And then there is the other which you need to find. So in this case, they want us to calculate the mass of sodium chloride. So this is what we need to find. When 2 grams of sodium, so this is what is given, sodium and sodium chloride. Now we need to find the mole of these two species. So we need to find the mole of sodium to sodium chloride. Where do we get the mole ratio from? The mole ratio is not the same as the actual number of moles. I will show you the actual number of moles later. The mole ratio is obtained from the balanced chemical equation. This is why step 1 is very crucial. Sometimes they give you the equation that's already balanced. Then you just have to skip step 1, use the balanced equation and straight away go to step 2. So how do we find the mole ratio? The mole ratio is the number in front of the species after balancing. So for example, we are looking for the ratio of sodium to sodium chloride. So after balancing the chemical equation, all you have to do is look at the number in front of the species, which means we are looking at the numbers 2 in front of sodium and 2 in front of sodium chloride. So let's write this down. The ratio of sodium to sodium chloride is 2 to 2. Now here we can simplify this, we can take the simplest ratio, the ratio is 1 to 1. What does this mean? This means that for every 1 mole of sodium that reacts, we have 1 mole of sodium chloride form. This ratio is very important, this is what we are going to use to find the quantity of the product form. After we find the mole ratio, then we find the actual number of moles. So this is not the actual number of moles. 1 mole of sodium is not reacting in this equation, it is simply the ratio. Now we go on to find the actual number of moles. Now in order to find the actual number of moles, we can use these four equations for moles. This must be committed to memory. We cannot forget this. So from this four depends on what quantity is given to us. So we have mass, volume, number of particles, and molarity and volume. So once you see what is given to you, you will know which formula to use. Now let's look at our question. So in the question, we are given that 2 grams of sodium, right here, 2 grams of sodium reacts with excess chlorine. So what we have here is the mass. When we want to find the number of mole from the mass, we have to use this equation, mass over molar mass, because we are given the mass. So we start with moles equals to mass per molar mass, Molar mass will be given to you. 
mass is 2 grams as given in the question. This is 2 grams of sodium, so the moles of sodium will be divided by molar mass of sodium which is 23. This is approximately 0 0.870 moles of sodium. So this is the moles of sodium. Now we want to find sodium chloride. So now once we find the actual number of moles of the species with the given quantity, we were given there were 2 grams of sodium. Now we can calculate the actual number of moles with the unknown quantity. So the unknown quantity in the question is sodium chloride. Let's look at the question again. Based on this question, we want to calculate the mass of sodium chloride. This is what we want to find, mass of sodium chloride. Now we cannot jump straight to mass. We only have the number of moles of the given quantity so far. We only have the number of moles of sodium. So from the number of moles of sodium, we need to find how many moles of sodium chloride has been formed. How do we do this? We use the mole ratio. This is why we found out the mole ratio earlier. By the way guys, if you are learning something from this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button. It really does help the channel grow. Uh, let's get back to the lesson. The mole ratio will tell us exactly how many moles reacts with how many moles. So we know the mole ratio here is 1 to 1. Let's just get that down. So we are going to use this. This ratio is 1 to 1. Now the actual number of moles of sodium we discovered was 0 0.870 from the earlier step, from step 3. 0 0.870 moles. So this is the moles of sodium. Let's put it on the side of sodium. 0 0.870 moles. 2. Now we need to find the number of moles of sodium chloride, which is X. Now since it's a 1 to 1 ratio, this is exactly the same moles. So then X is actually, since the ratio is 1 to 1, X is 0 0.870 moles. Now if you're confused about ratios, you're not sure how to get this, it's, uh, I have a simple method for you. You use the ratio here, 1 to 1, so you write it as a fraction. You write 1 over 1 is equals to, and then you write this down here, 0 0.8 seven zero over x then you can solve this and get x all right so now we have the actual number of moles of sodium chloride now that we have the actual number of moles of sodium chloride we can calculate any quantity we can calculate its mass we can calculate its number of particles so sodium chloride here we want to find the mass the question is asking us to find the mass so again how do we find the mass from the mole, choose from the formula of moles. So again, since we want to find mass, we are going to use mass over molar mass. So we start with moles is equals to mass over molar mass. There's no need to mem memorize any other formula or any variation of the formula. Just remember this, then you can move the subject of the equation. So what we want is the mass. Therefore, mass will be equals to moles multiplied by molar mass. So here we are looking for mass of sodium chloride, which means we have to use the moles of sodium chloride and the molar mass of sodium chloride. So the mass of sodium chloride here will be equals to, we already found the moles of sodium chloride, 0 0.870. So this will be 0 0.870 multiplied by molar mass of sodium chloride, which will be relative atomic mass of sodium, which is 23. This will be given to you plus the relative atomic mass of chlorine, which is 35.5. So when you key this into a calculator, the value that you will get is 5.09 grams. So this is the mass of sodium chloride formed from 2 grams of sodium. Now let's try another example. So let's look at this question. This time let's see volume. So the question is calculate the volume of oxygen needed at room temperature and pressure to react completely with 4 grams of lithium to form lithium oxide. So again, you need to understand that there are two things here. There will always be two things. One is given quantity, one is the quantity that you need to find. The given quantity is 4 grams of lithium and the quantity we want to find is volume of oxygen. So the given mass here, we want to find volume. So again, let's start with step one, right? Balance chemical equation. We need to balance chemical equation. So let's look, identify all the reactants and products here. We have oxygen, 
and we have lithium to form lithium oxide. Let's write down this equation. So we have lithium Li, which is a solid, plus oxygen, oxygen gas, O2 gas, which becomes lithium oxide, Li2O. This is a solid. So this is a group 1 element reaction. Now we need to balance the equation. So in order to balance the equation, first let's look at oxygen. Oxygen we have 2 on the left and only 1 on the right. So we double that. And then we have 4 lithium on the right. So we add 4 lithium on the left. Done. We are balanced. Now in this case, in all chemical equations, first you need to determine which is the excess. Because when we have an excess reactant, we cannot use the number of moles of the excess reactant. Now, I go into this in very detail. In another video, I'll link to it in the description. I encourage you to look at that first. So, if you already understand the concept of excess, then we can go on with this. So, here now, we do the same thing. Once we have the balanced chemical equation, step two is to use this balanced chemical equation and find the mole ratio. So, let's look at the mole ratio. Here again, we need to know what species is involved, which is the quantity given and the quantity to find. Let's look at the question again. The quantity given is 4 grams of lithium and the quantity we need to find is volume of oxygen. So we need to look at the mole ratio of these two species. So we have oxygen to lithium. Now we are looking at these two, lithium Oxygen. So the mole ratio here of lithium to oxygen, lithium to oxygen, the mole ratio, look at the number in front. So this is 4, 4, 2. Now when there is no number in front, the number is actually 1. So this is 4 to 1. Now that we have the mole ratio, we have the ratio of moles of lithium reacting with oxygen, now we can find the actual number of moles. In order to calculate the actual number of moles, it depends on what quantity is given to us. Again, we are given the mass of lithium here, 4 grams of lithium. So when we are given the mass, in order to find the moles, we need to use the first formula again, mass over molar mass. So let's do that, moles equals to mass. So here we are doing moles of lithium. This is equals to mass over molar mass. So this will be mass of lithium over molar mass of lithium. Mass of lithium is given as 4 grams. Molar mass of lithium is 7. Again, molar mass will be given to you. So 4 over 7 is the actual number of moles. So when we have the actual number of moles of given quantity, now we can find the actual number of moles of the quantity that we need to calculate using the mole ratio. Let's use the mole ratio here. Lithium to oxygen is 4 to 1. So this is 4 over 7 to x. x is the number of moles of oxygen. Since the ratio is 4 to 1, it will be 4 over 7 divided by 4, which is 1 over 7. But again, if you're not sure how to do this, no problem. We just have to use as a fraction 4 over 1 will be equals to 4 over 7 divided by x. So when we solve this, we will get x is equals to 4 over 7 divided by 4, which is equals to 1 over 7 moles. So this is the moles of oxygen. Now we've calculated the moles, the actual moles of the quantity that we need to find. So now we can find the actual quantity. The quantity that the question is asking us to find is the volume. We need to find the volume of oxygen. So, In order to find the volume of oxygen, we need to use the number of moles of oxygen. So let's see which is a suitable formula to use in this case. Since we are looking for volume, then we have to use volume over molar volume. Number of moles equals to volume over molar volume. And let's use exactly that. So moles of oxygen will be equals to volume of oxygen over molar volume of oxygen. So now all we have to do is rearrange to make volume the subject. Volume is moles of oxygen. So this is volume of oxygen. Moles of oxygen times the molar volume. 
So the moles of oxygen, as we just calculated, is 1 over 7. Molar volume at room temperature and pressure is 24 dm cubed per mole. Here we will get 24 over 7 dm cubed. This is very important. It is not cm cubed, it is dm cubed because the molar volume is dm cubed per mole. And this is equals to approximately 3.43 dm cubed. This is the volume of oxygen produced when we use 4 grams of lithium. And these are the 5 steps that you need to follow in all simple basic chemistry calculations. If you've learned something from this, guys, please help me by hitting the like button. I really appreciate it because it really will help the growth of the channel. So thank you for doing that and I'll see you in the next video.